If you have any questions about your TV repair, please leave a comment in the comment section below this video. Be sure to include your TV brand, TV model number, and the symptoms and problems that your TV is showing. This information will help us to best diagnose the problem with your TV and suggest a fix. We will reply to your message as quickly as we can. After we reply to your comment, you should receive a notification in your email account. Be sure to check the social and promotion tabs and the spam folder in your email. Thanks and we look forward to assisting you on your TV repair journey. In this video we will go over the most common boards that go bad due to a lightning strike or power surge to your TV. If you have had a bad storm with lightning and you believe that your TV has been struck by lightning or experienced a power surge, there are a few boards that we recommend checking first as they have the majority of the problems when it comes to lightning strikes and power surges. The first thing you will want to do is check to see if your TV is working. Can you power on your TV? If it will not power on, do you have a standby light? If your TV has no power at all and no standby light, the problem could be the power supply or the main board. The best way to determine if the problem is your main board or your power supply is to try and find out where the power surge came from. If you have your TV connected to a surge protector or power strip and the surge protector or power strip is blown, then you'll most likely need to replace your power supply. If you have a satellite dish and you know that your satellite dish was struck by lightning, the main board will most likely need to be replaced. A few things that will help you to determine which boards are bad is to look at the TV boards and do a visual inspection. TV boards after a lightning strike or power surge can sometimes have cracks in the components and burn marks on them. This photo shows what a burn mark would look like on a board. You can also check to see if any of the small components have cracks in them or are damaged. Another common symptom that your main board is bad or has been affected by the lightning is that some inputs will stop working and you will not receive a signal on the screen through those inputs. You could also not receive a signal on the screen at all from any of the inputs. If you have any erratic behavior from your TV or the picture and or sound is going in and out, this could be a bad main board. There is also the possibility that both your main board and the power supply have been damaged. Then you would need to replace both boards. If you are unsure of which board is bad, you can also purchase and replace both boards and see which one fixes the problem or both. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comment section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends to help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.